Welcome to another episode of Rithu the Explorer Travel Vlog. Nestled within the vibrant landscape of London, this temple of history and science beckons to those who seek to unravel the mysteries of the natural world. Join us as we embark on a journey through time and discovery, illuminating the treasures and tales housed within its grand corridors. Whether you are a fervent scientist, a curious tourist, or a passionate history buff, this is the place where the past, present, and future converge. Prepare to be captivated as we reveal what makes the Natural History Museum London an unforgettable destination. Nestled among the historical and cultural landmarks of South Kensington, the Natural History Museum London stands as a testament to scientific exploration and discovery. Accessible via the London Underground with the nearest stop at South Kensington Station, getting here is a breeze for anyone navigating the city's extensive public transport network. For those inclined towards a scenic route, a short stroll through the charming streets from nearby attractions like the Victoria and Albert Museum adds to the experience. Upon arrival, the museum's Romanesque architecture, complete with terracotta facades, strikes an immediate impression of grandeur and timelessness. Alfred Waterhouse's design, unveiled in 1881, has weathered the passage of history and remains a visual delight. The grand entrance, with its soaring arches and intricate stonework, invokes a sense of awe, setting the stage for the marvels that lie within. It's not just a doorway to the past, it's an architectural marvel that echoes the museum's dedication to preserving and celebrating the incredible tapestry of life on Earth. The Natural History Museum in London, often referred to as a Cathedral of Nature, is one of the most iconic and significant institutions of its kind globally. This designation stems from its grand architectural design, reminiscent of a religious cathedral, combined with its comprehensive collection of specimens from various segments of natural history. The museum's mission is to inspire a love of the natural world while providing critical insights into the life and earth sciences through its extensive collections, research, and exhibitions. Housed in a striking Romanesque revival building, the museum was officially opened in 1881 although its origins trace back to collections owned by Sir Hans Sloane. All these collections were first in the British Museum London. Richard Owen, then superintendent of natural history collections, persuaded the trustees of the British Museum that a separate building was needed to accommodate their ever-growing catalog of the natural world. Owen envisioned a cathedral to nature to celebrate the richness and abundance of life on Earth and inspire scientists and the general public alike. Following four years of campaigning, in 1863, he won approval to make this vision a reality. The building itself, designed by Alfred Waterhouse, an English architect best known for his eclectic Victorian Gothic revival style, is a marvel, with terracotta facades that are both functional and decorative, representing various flora and fauna, further cementing its reputation as a cathedral dedicated to nature. For the Natural History Museum, Waterhouse combined Gothic revival and 12th century Romanesque architecture, with lavish decoration inspired by the natural world. The Natural History Museum is home to over 80 million items encompassing botany, entomology, mineralogy, paleontology, and zoology. Scientists at the museum engage in research in a wide range of fields including taxonomy, conservation, and environmental change, highlighting the museum's commitment to addressing some of the most pressing scientific and environmental issues of our time. As one steps closer to the grand entrance of the Natural History Museum London, the question of affordability and accessibility might cross one's mind. It's a commendable and generous policy of the museum that entry remains free for all visitors. This inclusive approach ensures that the museum's treasures are accessible to everyone, regardless of their financial circumstances. However, for those who wish to support the maintenance and development of the museum, there are suggested donations. These contributions go a long way in preserving the history and science displayed within these walls for future generations to admire. 
The museum also offers special exhibitions and experiences that may carry an additional charge, which is always clearly indicated. Visitors with accessibility needs will find the museum attentive to their requirements. The building is equipped with ramps, lifts, and facilities designed to ensure that everyone can navigate the museum with ease. We stored our belongings in the cloakroom, fully prepared for the long walk ahead. The map indicates a total of three entrances, the main entrance on Cromwell Road, an additional entrance on Queen's Gate, and another on Exhibition Road. Due to refurbishments, we accessed the building via the Exhibition Road entrance. The Natural History Museum in London is organized into four thematic zones. For enthusiasts of geology, the Red Zone offers insights into the Earth's history and the dynamic forces shaping it. The Green Zone is tailored for those interested in birds and fossils. The Blue Zone caters to visitors keen on human biology, mammals, and dinosaurs, featuring a blue whale model. Meanwhile, the Orange Zone provides an opportunity to delve into nature through the Wildlife Garden and the Darwin Center. Before beginning at the Natural History Museum London, we planned to have lunch. As we entered through the exhibition entrance, the Red Zone, the closest restaurant was The Kitchen, ordered fish and chips and fried chicken with salad. The museum is not just a treasure trove of specimens from various segments of natural history, including botany, entomology, mineralogy, paleontology, and zoology, but also a center for scientific research and conservation. The Earth Hall at the Natural History Museum in London is a captivating entrance into the museum that sets the stage for the exploration of Earth's dynamic and fascinating geological history, this impressive hall not only serves as a gateway to many of the museum's other exhibits, especially those in the red zone, but it also offers its own array of attractions that immerse visitors in the story of our planet. Upon entering the Earth Hall, visitors are greeted by the stunning sight of a giant metallic globe, a symbol that underscores the museum's focus on Earth sciences. This striking feature is surrounded by escalators that take visitors through a spectacular display simulating the Earth's molten core, leading them towards the galleries that delve into the Earth's structure, the forces that shape its surface, natural resources, and the very origins of the planet itself. The Earth Hall is home to a variety of exhibits that showcase the museum's extensive collection of minerals, rocks, and meteorites, offering insights into the processes that have formed and transformed the Earth over billions of years. Interactive displays and state-of-the-art technology engage visitors of all ages, making complex scientific concepts accessible and engaging. Visitors to Earth's treasury are treated to a display of natural wonders, from gemstones and crystals to significant ore samples crucial in our daily lives. The exhibit highlights the beauty of geological treasures and educates on their scientific importance and formation processes. It covers mineralogy, gemology, and economic geology, offering insights into Earth's resources, their impact on society and the environment. The Natural History Museum in London offers a fascinating and comprehensive exploration into human evolution, presenting a journey that spans millions of years. This part of the museum showcases the gradual process through which humans have evolved from their early ancestors, providing insights into the physical and behavioral changes that have occurred over time. Visitors can expect to see a wide range of exhibits, including fossilized bones, lifelike models, and interactive displays that detail the evolutionary path of humans. One of the highlights of the human evolution section is the collection of skulls and skeletal fragments that illustrate the gradual changes in brain size, facial structure, and posture that have defined our journey from tree-dwelling primates to upright bipedal beings. These artifacts help to paint a vivid picture of our ancestors and the environments in which they lived. The Volcanoes and Earthquakes exhibit in the Red Zone at the Natural History Museum in London provides an immersive and educational journey into the powerful natural forces that shape our planet. 
Through a combination of interactive displays, real-life case studies, and authentic geological specimens, the exhibit aims to educate visitors about the role of volcanoes and earthquakes in Earth's geological history. It highlights the destructive power of these events, as well as their creative force in forming landscapes, mountains, and new landmasses. One of the highlights of the exhibit is the Earthquake Simulator, where visitors can experience the sensation of an earthquake firsthand, providing a vivid understanding of its force and impact. The display of volcanic rocks and minerals, including specimens from famous eruptions, offers a tangible connection to the processes that occur deep within the Earth. Following the Lasting Impressions exhibition in the Red Zone, we proceeded to the Green Zone, where we encountered the exhibits of fossil marine reptiles and birds. The Fossil Marine Reptiles and Birds exhibition in the Green Zone of the Natural History Museum in London offers a captivating journey through time, showcasing the ancient inhabitants of Earth's seas and skies. This area is dedicated to the fascinating world of extinct marine reptiles and the diverse history of avian evolution, providing visitors with a deep dive into the prehistoric past. The marine reptiles section unveils a collection of fossils that trace back to the age of dinosaurs and beyond, including ichthyosaurs, plesiosaurs, and mosasaurs. These creatures, which dominated the oceans millions of years ago, are presented through beautifully preserved skeletons and informative displays. The exhibition not only highlights their physical adaptations to aquatic life, but also explores their behaviors, diets, and the environments they inhabited. The exhibit of the giant sloth in the green zone of the Natural History Museum in London presents an extraordinary glimpse into the life of one of the most fascinating creatures of the Ice Age. The giant sloth, known scientifically as Megatherium, was one of the largest land mammals to have ever existed, rivaling modern elephants in size. This exhibit provides visitors with an up-close look at the life and environment of these colossal creatures through a remarkable display that includes fossil bones and reconstructions. Adjacent to the marine reptiles, the bird exhibition offers insights into the evolution of birds from their dinosaur ancestors. It features an array of fossils and specimens that illustrate the transition from feathered dinosaurs to the birds we are familiar with today. The exhibition delves into the diversity of ancient birds, including extinct species that once roamed the planet. It emphasizes the vast changes that have occurred over millions of years, showcasing the museum's commitment to educating the public about the dynamic history of life on our planet. Visitors leave with a greater appreciation for the complexity and resilience of life through the ages, making this exhibition a must-see in the green zone of the Natural History Museum. The Minerals Gallery at the Natural History Museum in Green Zone is a treasure trove for anyone fascinated by the beauty and diversity of minerals. This gallery showcases thousands of specimens from the museum's world-class mineralogy collection, one of the most extensive and significant in the world. Adjacent to the grandeur of the Minerals Gallery is the Vault, a specially designed area that houses the museum's collection of precious gems and rare meteorites. The vault is akin to a treasure chamber, providing a secure and atmospheric setting to display items of exceptional value and rarity. The highlights of the vault include the Aurora Pyramid of Hope, an outstanding collection of 296 naturally colored diamonds, and a piece of the Mars rock, offering tangible evidence of our solar system's history. The vault also features some of the world's most famous and valuable gemstones, including specimens that are of great scientific interest and historical significance. The treasures in the Cadogan Gallery at the Natural History Museum in London 
is a carefully curated exhibition that showcases a selection of the museum's most unique and significant items. This gallery, located within one of the UK's most beloved institutions for the study and appreciation of the natural world, offers visitors an intimate look at a range of specimens and artifacts that have not only scientific, but also historical importance. Among the treasures, you can find remarkable items such as a piece of the moon brought back by Apollo astronauts, a first edition of Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species, and the Archaeopteryx, a fossil that represents a crucial link in the evolution from dinosaurs to birds. These items, along with others displayed in the gallery, highlight groundbreaking moments in the history of natural science and our understanding of the world. The gallery itself is named after the Cadogan family, notable for their support and contributions to the museum. The selection of items within the gallery is designed to reflect the breadth and depth of the museum's collections, ranging from botany, entomology, mineralogy, paleontology to zoology. This intimate space is designed not just to display these wonders, but also to inspire curiosity and further exploration among its visitors. It underscores the importance of preserving natural history and encourages an appreciation for the intricacies of our world. The treasures in the Cadogan Gallery thus represent not only a highlight of the Natural History Museum's vast collections, but also a testament to the ongoing quest for knowledge and understanding of the natural world. The giant sequoia exhibit in the green zone at the Natural History Museum showcases a magnificent cross-section of a giant sequoia tree, offering visitors a unique glimpse into the natural world's grandeur. This specimen, originating from California, highlights the immense size and ancient lifespan of one of the world's largest living organisms. Estimated to be over 1,300 years old and 101 meters tall at the time it was felled, the tree's cross-section reveals the history stored within its rings, each marking a year of its life and providing insights into past environmental conditions. This exhibit not only showcases the physical majesty of the giant sequoia, but also delves into its ecological significance, adaptations, and the role it plays in its habitat. Additionally, it touches on the crucial conservation efforts aimed at protecting these remarkable trees for future generations. Through this exhibit, the Natural History Museum educates and inspires visitors about the wonders of nature, the importance of conservation, and our connection to the Earth's ecosystems. The Investigate Center in the Green Zone at the Natural History Museum in London is an interactive and dynamic space designed to spark curiosity and inspire learning among visitors of all ages particularly children and young students. This hands-on science center within the museum allows visitors to become scientists for the day, engaging directly with real natural specimens using the tools and techniques of scientific inquiry. Equipped with microscopes, measuring tools, and a wide array of specimens from the museum's vast collection, the Investigate Center offers a unique opportunity for hands-on exploration. Visitors can examine minerals, fossils, plants, and animal specimens up close, fostering a deeper understanding of the natural world and the scientific methods used to study it. The center's environment encourages questions, experimentation, and discovery, making science accessible and enjoyable. Trained staff and volunteers are on hand to guide visitors through their investigations, offering insights and information to enrich the experience. The activities and exhibits are designed to support the national curriculum, making it an invaluable resource for school groups and educators. Hintzy Hall, the grand entrance of the Natural History Museum in London, serves as the gateway to a world of natural wonders and scientific discoveries. This iconic hall is renowned for its breathtaking architecture and the awe-inspiring displays that greet visitors upon their entry, setting the stage for an unforgettable journey through the history of the natural world. The hall is renamed from Central Hall to Hintzy Hall in honor of British-Australian businessman and philanthropist Sir Michael Hintzy. Following a significant donation of £5 million in 2014 to the Natural History Museum through the Hintzy Family Charitable Foundation. One of the hall's most striking features is its elaborate ceiling adorned with intricate terracotta tiles that depict plants and animals, highlighting the diversity of life on Earth.
At the heart of Hintzy Hall, visitors are often greeted by a centerpiece that encapsulates the museum's commitment to showcasing the marvels of nature. Historically, this space was dominated by Dippy, a beloved replica of a Diplodocus dinosaur skeleton that enchanted visitors for decades. More recently, the skeleton of a blue whale, suspended in a dramatic diving pose, has taken center stage, symbolizing the museum's focus on both the past and the present of the natural world. This impressive exhibit known as Hope serves as a powerful reminder of the beauty, complexity, and vulnerability of life on our planet. Surrounding the central display are a series of exhibits that introduce visitors to various themes explored throughout the museum, including evolution, biodiversity, and environmental conservation. Each alcove and gallery branching off from Hinsey Hall offers a gateway to different areas of the museum, such as the Dinosaurs Gallery, the Mammals Section with its model blue whale, and the Earth's Treasury. Hinsey Hall also hosts temporary exhibits and special events, making each visit to the Natural History Museum a unique experience. Whether it's marveling at the architectural beauty, learning about the natural world from the informative displays, or simply standing in awe of the central exhibit, Hinsey Hall is a testament to the wonder and importance of natural history, captivating the imaginations of all who walk through its doors. Hinsey Hall, the grand entrance of the Natural History Museum in London, serves as the gateway to a world of natural wonders and scientific discoveries. This iconic hall is renowned for its breathtaking architecture. The Dinosaurs Gallery at the Natural History Museum in London is one of the museum's most famous and beloved attractions. Drawing visitors from around the world eager to step back in time to the age of the dinosaurs. This captivating exhibit in Blue Zone offers an immersive journey through the Mesozoic era, showcasing a wide range of dinosaur fossils, skeletons, and life-sized models that bring the prehistoric world to life. Upon entering the Dinosaurs Gallery, visitors are greeted by the impressive sight of a variety of dinosaur skeletons poised as if caught in time, one of the highlights of this gallery are the part of the first Tyrannosaurus rex skeleton ever discovered, one of the largest carnivores ever to have walked the earth, then the first skeleton of Iguanodon known to science, one of the species used to describe the concept of dinosaurs. Another exhibit includes the, the skull of a plant-eating Triceratops and the gigantic armored dinosaur Scolosaurus. The gallery is ingeniously designed to educate and engage, featuring interactive displays and multimedia presentations that delve into the lives of these ancient creatures. Visitors can learn about the different dinosaur species, their habitats, diets, and the theories surrounding their mass extinction. The exhibit also explores the science behind paleontology, demonstrating how fossils are discovered, excavated, and studied to uncover the secrets of the past. A particularly popular attraction within the Dinosaurs Gallery is the animatronic model of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, which provides a thrilling experience for guests of all ages. This lifelike representation offers a glimpse into the behavior and physicality of one of history's most formidable predators, complete with sounds and movements that captivate the audience's attention and curiosity. The Dinosaurs Gallery also places a strong emphasis on educational value, providing insights into the evolutionary journey that led from dinosaurs to birds, highlighting the museum's role in advancing scientific understanding and public education about natural history.
Overall, the Dinosaurs Gallery stands as a testament to the fascination and wonder that dinosaurs inspire. It is a must-see destination within the Natural History Museum, offering an unforgettable adventure into the depths of prehistoric life, igniting the imagination, and fostering a deeper appreciation for the natural world and its ancient inhabitants. No wonder the Natural History Museum London is hailed as a cathedral of nature. Its awe-inspiring array of the natural world's diversity and complexity, vast biological and geological treasures, alongside the grandeur of its architecture, captivates all who visit. The Image of Nature Gallery located at the Blue Zone is an enchanting exhibit that showcases the museum's rich collection of natural history art, illustrating the intersection of science, art, and the exploration of the natural world. This unique gallery highlights the crucial role that artistic representations have played in scientific discovery and the documentation of species, habitats, and geological formations before the advent of photography. Interactive displays and digital media within the gallery offer visitors the opportunity to explore the stories behind the artwork, including the adventures, scientific endeavors, and technological innovations that have driven the exploration of the natural world. The gallery serves as a reminder of the enduring connection between art and science, encouraging a deeper appreciation for the beauty and complexity of nature as seen through the eyes of artists and scientists alike. Charles Darwin, one of the most transformative figures in the history of science, holds a special place within the Natural History Museum in London. Renowned for his groundbreaking work on the theory of evolution by natural selection, Darwin's legacy is celebrated and preserved within this cathedral of nature. Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection, presented in his 1859 publication On the Origin of Species, provided a unifying framework for understanding the diversity of life on Earth. This framework has guided the collection, classification, and interpretation of specimens at the Natural History Museum. Moreover, the Darwin Center, named in his honor, is a testament to his lasting influence on the museum and the field of natural history. The center houses millions of zoological specimens and serves as a hub for the museum's scientific research showcasing the ongoing relevance of Darwin's ideas to understanding biodiversity and ecological relationships. Besides that, you can book spots in the museum for your events. Looking for something cozy or perhaps something wow-worthy? The museum's got tons of awesome spaces that are right on target for any wedding, private party, or conference. What an interesting concept, right? Dino Snores is an innovative and exciting sleepover event hosted by the Natural History Museum in London, designed especially for children aged 7 to 11. This unique experience allows kids to explore the museum after dark, offering a night filled with fun, educational activities, and a rare opportunity to sleep among the museum's famous exhibits, including the iconic dinosaurs. The event kicks off with a torch-lit trail through the museum's galleries, providing a thrilling adventure that brings the natural history exhibits to life in a whole new light. Participants are treated to a variety of activities, which may include science shows, workshops, and educational talks all aimed at sparking curiosity and fostering a deeper appreciation for the natural world. One of the highlights of Dino Snores is the opportunity for children to unroll their sleeping bags and spend the night under the watchful gaze of the museum's dinosaur skeletons, including the blue whale skeleton or the ferocious Tyrannosaurus rex. It's an unforgettable experience that combines adventure with learning, allowing children to immerse themselves in the world of natural history in a fun and interactive way. In addition to the night's activities, Dino Snores participants also enjoy a tasty dinner, snacks, and breakfast the following morning, making it a fully catered experience. The event is supervised by experienced museum staff, ensuring a safe and enjoyable experience for all. It's not exclusively for children, they offer a version for adults as well, a delightful surprise. 
Dino Snores, has become a highly popular event at the Natural History Museum, offering families a unique way to experience the wonders of the museum and creating lasting memories for young dinosaur enthusiasts and aspiring scientists. You can book the tickets through the Natural History Museum London, official website for single tickets of family tickets. And that wraps up our incredible journey through the Natural History Museum in London, a place where history comes to life and the wonders of the natural world are around every corner. From the mesmerizing blue whale to the fascinating dinosaur exhibits, it's been an adventure that's not only educated us, but also left us in awe. Have you had a chance to explore the Natural History Museum? If so, we'd love to hear about your favorite part. Please share your experiences in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, share with friends, and subscribe for more travel adventures. The world is full of wonders waiting to be discovered, and we can't wait to take you on our next journey. Until then, keep exploring and stay curious. Thanks for watching.